Hey, it is Cherith Fluker. Thank you so much for being here. I wanted to hop on because I made a post on Instagram and in my Facebook group that said we needed to learn to use the word no in 2022. I was inspired by Terry Kay. He's one of my favorite social media uh, personalities. He made a post about how we needed to learn to say the word no. And that's something that I have said before too, but the way that he said it is right. We say no to some things that should be double no, triple no, quadruple no. And I want to just kind of expound on that and kind of put out a little bit of a disclaimer. I know that ideally we can't go around saying no to everything that we're asked to do, but we can be a little bit stingier with our yeses. We need to really think about what we're being asked to do and how it's going to affect us. If it's going to put us in a bad place mentally or physically or financially, we really need to think about those things and not just feel like we have to say yes out of obligation. You matter. You are important. Your needs are important. Remember, you have to take care of you or you can't take care of anybody else or anything else. I say that all the time because I wholeheartedly believe that. And it took me a really long time to get to this place. So you have to really think about what you're being asked to do and evaluate the amount of time that it's going to take you to do it. Think about what's on your schedule already. Think about what barrier or what burden it's going to place on uh, your mental health, your physical health, your family, your finances, you have to think about all of those. You can't just willy-nilly be out here saying yes to everything because you're a kind-hearted person because, believe it or not, people will take advantage of your kindness. You really have to think about these things and think about what you're doing and think about how it fits in your overall well-being. And also, how does it impact your goals? If you're already working towards something, is you or that you saying yes to that something, is that going to stop you from working towards your own goals? You really have to think about yourself, y'all. It is so important. And I just want us in 2022 to be really intentional about our no's. And also, I want to add to this, you don't have to give someone an answer immediately. Don't ever let anybody put you or put your back against the wall. You really need to say, hey, I need to take some time to think about this. Or if it's something that you don't want to think about, don't tell people, let me think about it. Because that just means that it's going to be causing you anxiety until the next time the person comes around and asks you. If it's a hard no, just go ahead and say no. And I have some... Um, Instagram reels where I give nice ways to say no. I'll link those down below as well. Um, but I want you to understand that you don't have to give people an excuse or a reason for your no. Your no is enough. But I know that we have some people that just can't be mean. I get it. So I have some different ways that you can say no that don't seem so rough or abrupt. So you can check those out. Like I said, I'll put the link down below. But I really want you moving forward to really, like I said, be intentional about the things that you say yes to. Learn the word no. Don't feel obligated to tell people yes. Um, you know, their emergency is not your issue. It's not your issue. And there are times when you can be helpful and do that when you can be. But when you need to take time for you and when you need to prioritize you, do it. You don't need permission to take time for yourself. You do not need permission to take time for yourself. And it doesn't matter who it is. I know sometimes we feel um, that we are obligated to say yes to certain people, but it doesn't matter. You are the person that matters. If you're going to be doing something that's going to put you in a bad place or that's going to make it higher for you in your future, don't say yes to it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I wanted to keep this short and sweet. Like I said, it's just a little bit of a disclaimer from the post that I put out earlier. Don't want you out here telling everybody no. We know that we have to tell some people yes, but we can be very picky about the things that we say yes to. I want you to be a better you in 2022 and saying no to more things is really going to help to put you in a better place. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next video.